Hi everyone, Farmer Kate here from Cannon Hall Farm. Now, to, in today's video, we're going to give you an update on Diamond, our Shetland pony. Now, about six weeks ago, you probably remember that she gave birth to a stillborn foal and she's been under lots of veterinary care, lots of treatments, and it hasn't all been smooth sailing, sadly. So we're going to go in and just give you guys an update on her. Hey girl, I got you a treat, are you hungry? Here we are with Diamond in our special care unit here. Now, after the situation with her giving birth not running smoothly, she was prescribed some antibi antibiotics. So we moved her up here so we could administer those quite easily, give her a chance for her to kind of recuperate in this area. But after finishing that course of antibiotics, we kind of thought she was perking up, she was looking really good for a few days and then we just weren't happy. She just kind of seemed to go downhill again. So what we did, we called the vet out again to have a look at her, see what he, his opinion of her was. And he prescribed another course of antibiotics, which she has just finished now. And we're hoping that's done the trick, but we're still keeping a really, really close eye on her. Do you want a treat? Do you want a carrot? Would you like a carrot? Oh yeah, good girl. Yeah. So what we've been doing is giving her carrots like this. She's been getting like lots of hair, lots of food. And we've been giving, bringing up like some fresh grass as well for her to have a nibble at. Now, a lot of people may think horses are a herd animal. They should be with others. And that's something like you're tempted to think and we especially when she's on her own, but we've kind of consulted with the vet about this and for her to have the best chance at recovery. She needs to kind of fully concentrate on herself and she needs to be able to like lie down when she wants to and just fully relax without worrying about other horses like coming over, potentially like eating food nearby her that she wants to be eating and stuff. So as soon as we feel she's ready to go back with the others, even if it's just like another pony on their own, then that's something we're gonna do for sure. We're doing absolutely everything we've been told by the vets to do, but it, in a way it's kind of up to her as well. We're just trying to keep her like as comfortable as possible, giving her a lot of TLC, but she's got to kind of, you know, give herself the energy to recover. And that's what we're trying to do. And that's really what we're hoping for. We can't wait until she's back with the Shetland pony herd full time. That's, that's where she belongs. And I'm sure that's where she wants to be after her recovery, but we are keeping it steady. If she does go downhill again, we want her in here nicely on her own so we can kind of get the vet out immediately just to respond to that. But we really, really are hoping that it's going to be fingers crossed that she does get better. We're doing absolutely everything we can and hopefully she'll be making a full recovery. We have got high hopes that will be the case, but she's definitely not out of the woods yet. So I hope you've enjoyed this update on Diamond. I'm sorry it's not kind of the news we were hoping to give you at this point, like quite a while after her falling, but it's important to share with you kind of the ups and downs of farming and what we're doing the best for our animals at all times really. So I hope you've enjoyed watching it and we'll see you later.